Welcome to the Direct Secure Messaging Registration Tutorial. This presentation is intended to provide you with general instructions for completing the forms needed to establish your organization's Direct Secure Messaging account. Registration is easy. Everything you need to register can be found on our website www.florida-hie.net that's florida-hie.net. You can obtain the forms needed by clicking on the pink registration button or maneuvering from the Direct Secure Messaging link in the middle of the website. From this page, you can retrieve the two needed documents, the identity verification and registration forms. We also strongly encourage registrants to review the Direct Secure Messaging Subscription Agreement, Participation Terms and Conditions, and Security Best Practices prior to registration. When users log in for the first time, they will be asked to accept these agreements electronically. The Identity Verification Form as part of the vetting process, an authorized representative from your organization will need to complete the Identity Verification Form. This is a two-page document. The authorized representative must be the medical director or an officer director of the organization. The first page of the form is where the organization's authorized representative would provide identifying information the authorized representative's Florida driver's license number and either their Department of Health license number or, in the case of organizations that do not have a license number, the FEI EIN number is required. This is also where the authorized representative can designate someone else to act as the organization's point of contact. The point of contact is responsible for making sure that only appropriate staff have direct secure messaging accounts. They are designated the role of adding new users and deleting users that no longer should have access to the service. If the point of contact information is not completed, the authorized representative will automatically assume this role. The second page of the identity verification form must either be notarized or signed off on by staff authorized by the Florida Health Information Exchange. Authorized staff include representatives from your local regional extension center, Florida's Quality Information Organization, FMQAI, Harris Corporation, or Agency for Healthcare Administration staff. Once both sides of the identity verification form are completed, it can be emailed, faxed, or mailed to the Agency for Healthcare Administration for processing. Now let's take a look at the registration form. The Direct Secure Messaging Registration Form. Although it may seem overwhelming at first blush, the information needed to complete this form is very basic. The Direct Secure Messaging Registration Form is a simple spreadsheet that is used to obtain information needed about the registering organization and any individual users associated with the organization. On the Organization Information tab, you will be providing information about your organization and about the person who will serve as a point of contact. You will notice that the form asks for the basic organization information, the organization type, name, primary taxonomy, license number and MPI number, desired username for the organization, and point of contact information, which includes their name, credentials, and the physical and billing address for the organization. An example of the type of response that is needed is provided directly on the worksheet. The Users tab is where you would list all individuals in your office or organization that need direct secure messaging accounts. 
The first section of the Users tab provides a drop-down menu that allows you to select the type of user you are registering. For users that are licensed providers in the state of Florida, doctors, nurses, physical therapists, etc., you will need to select Provider. You will notice that when you select this user type, you will also need to provide their license number, the state they are licensed in, which should be Florida, and their individual MPI number. Just like the Organization tab, you will also need to provide the individual's provider taxonomy and their desired username. You will also need to provide some other basic information like their name, credentials, title, and physical address. If the individual is not a licensed provider, select the user type that best describes them in the drop-down menu. For these individuals, you would select one of the taxonomies that best describes the user's general function. For example, an office manager at a physician's office would select provider staff for their user type and provider staff individual for their taxonomy. Whether you are registering a licensed provider or another user type, it is important to remember to include a username for each individual and to include a contact email address for each user. This email is used to communicate to the registrant their initial login information and to provide assistance in the case of a forgotten password. The contact email address must be different for each user. Once all of the users have been entered on the form, you will need to email it to the Florida Health Information Inbox at flhii at ahca.myflorida.com. That's flhii at ahca.myflorida.com. Once the identity verification and registration forms are submitted, your requested accounts will be available for use in approximately two to four days. An email notification to this effect will be sent to each registrant's contact email address. If you have any questions about this process or would like additional assistance with completing the registration forms, please contact us. This completes the Direct Secure Messaging registration tutorial. Please view our Direct Secure Messaging Provider Directory tutorial and Direct Secure Messaging Mail Service tutorial for information on how to use the service and locate Direct Secure Messaging users in your area.